is currently in the lead with 1,700 points. Ooh. Steal. <laughs> this is so when you have foam nail. <laughs> Figuring out who's a human and who's a bot is one of life's greatest mysteries. Actually, how do I know you guys are human? Quick, say something only a human would say. Uh, I am breathing. I have anxiety. <laughs> I have gas sometimes. Anyway, a common tool used to tell the difference between people and bots is something called CAPTCHA, which asks users to point out very basic images from a list, like this. Yeah. But this feels pretty easy for a robot to solve, so we're improving CAPTCHA in our new game called No CAPTCHA. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures. To determine if you're human or not, I'll ask you extremely nuanced CAPTCHA-style questions about them. Ooh. If you answer correctly, you get 300 points. Let's play. Mm. Now, panel. Which one of these beds belongs to a divorced dad? <laughs> Randy? Uh, that is number four right there, the <laughs> bottom one. It's just a deluxe dog bed that he slept in for years with his wife and he got it in the divorce. So okay. That's... Okay, Jason, what do you uh, think? I'm gonna say number one. This is an upgrade for him because he's been sleeping on the couch for three months since she kicked him out of the room. And now just being on a mattress feels good to him. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, Rob, what do you think? I'm, I'm gonna go with number three because he's, he's dreaming of the car he lost in the divorce. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see if you were right. The correct answer was the dog Thank bed. You. Thank you. Points go to Randy. Yep, my dude is going through a really bad time right now. That's the right. floor mattress is a dude I think we all dated in our 20s. Yeah. The fancy bed belongs to a woman in her 30s, and the race car bed is a child's, obviously. I know. Hi. Oh. Weird. Weird. Know. Feel but like another that. great thumbnail. That is a great, I know, that's an angry. <laughs> What did he do? <laughs> okay, next. Panelists, which one of these room thermometers are set to the correct sleep temperature? Rob. I'm gonna say 68, cause that, that feels comfortable. I feel like 81, it's like, all right, you doing experiments in there. <laughs> like 74, you at a hotel in the winter times. Mm -hmm. 65, that, that's way too cold. You don't like wearing socks, so I'm gonna go with 68. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's logical. Yeah. I like that. I like 74 that. in the wintertime. That's a, that's a road comic answer. That is a road comic. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, All right, Jason. Uh, wow, so I, I was gonna say 81 because for a second I was possessed by my mother. Um, <laughs> yeah, why would she? I don't know, everything has to be like uh, Florida. Okay, so I'm gonna say 74 because I do think with 74 you can crack a window and make it 72, which is not an option, but I think that's what it should be. I'm going with 74. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, men feel so safe. I, a woman would never crack a window at night <laughs> to sleep. Right. Randy, right. what do you think? Sorry, I had a, I had a real reaction. As, as me, Taylor Tomlinson, That's right. oh, you? a person outside of CBS. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with 65. I think you have a house guest and you want them out. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's see if you were right. The correct answer was 68 oh, degrees. Oh, Rob. Obviously. Come on. Obviously. Finally, panelists, which one of these items would make you look cool in 2008? <laughs> Jason? Bottom right is like, we got the hat, but we still don't know where Carmen San Diego is. <laughs> 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 Upper right is like, I'm doing this belt so that it draws attention away from my massive shoulder. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm going with number one, bedazzled jeans. Okay, Randy. So I love that you think it's Carmen Sandiego. Why can't that be a pimp's hat from, I don't know, the International Players Ball? I don't okay. know. <laughs> I'm thinking that dude is running a street team up in San Francisco. <laughs> He's got his A-ladies, he brought them down to L.A., someone stole them. He's like, I don't care, I'm going back up to Oakland and getting the B-team and bringing them down. 
having said all that, I think bottom left looks like a juicy sweatsuit. I'm going with bottom left, right? <laughs> J that was like J-Lo's heyday. Juicy, get it on. All right, Rob, what do you think? OK, I, I disagree. I, I would say that the, the juicy sweatsuit is like somebody dancing behind Missy Elliott, maybe <laughs> early 2000s. This hat is if you a crime fighter, but you also a duck. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Right. So I'm, I'm going to go with the belt. I feel like 2008, that's when women were inspired by yeah. wrestling. And that's a, that's a world championship belt buckle right there. Yeah. Sure. OK, let's see who was right. The correct answer was. Yeah! It's the floor track suit. Wow. Wow. Yeah! On. You don't give a damn that you're hot all day because you're in head to tour. <laughs> You're in head to toe velour. Right. <laughs> I thought you're in head to tour velour. Head to tour velour. That's, <laughs> that was the name of JLo's tour in 2008. Yeah. Head to, to tour, tour velour. Yeah. That was no captcha. Yeah. Yeah, you guys did great. When we come back, the panelists are going to lead us all in a calming exercise. I can't wait to breathe. Stay tuned. <laughs>